Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install DAMP Burner web application on your Kali Linux virtual machine. First of all, let's understand what is this DAMP Vulnerable web application or DVWA. So it is a PHP and MySQL vulnerable web application. You might be wondering why you want to install a vulnerable web application on your system. So if you're interested in penetration testing or hacking, then you might want to practice your practice different kind of attacks on real world website. But you can just go and do it on any website on internet. It will be illegal. For that, you can install this vulnerable web application on your system and practice the real world attacks on it. Now I hope you understand why we need to install EVWA. So now let's see how you can install it. So first of all, go to the browser and search for DVWA GitHub. Now click on the first link. So it will take you to the official GitHub repository of DVWA. From here, copy the URL. Then go back to the machine, open the terminal and change your directory to the default web server slash var slash www slash html. Now hit enter. So here you will need to copy the GitHub repository. For that, run command sudo git clone. Then the URL that you copied. Now hit enter. And it will clone the GitHub repository dvwa. So we successfully copied the GitHub repository on our default web server directory. Now further we have to make some changes on the configuration of dvwa. For that, go to the folder of, sorry, for that, go to the dvwa folder and a full instruction of what changes we need to make is available in the GitHub page. So go down and here in configuration section, it, it, it so what command we need to use to make this configuration change. So uh, we have to just simply copy the commands and go back to the machine. Make sure you are inside the DVWA repository folder and paste it. So basically what this command is doing uh, inside the config folder, there is a file named as config.inc.php.dist and we have to rename this file as config.inc.php. Now hit enter. Okay, sorry, we need to run it with the sudo command. sudo. So we successfully changed the config file extension. Now further, we have to create the database. And let me show you something. Okay. So as you can see, this is the config file content that we just renamed uh, config.inc.php. So here are the default configuration given that the database server is localhost, the database name is dvwa and the username is dvwa and also it is showing the password which is password. So according to this configuration, we have to configure our database. So for that, first of all, we need to start the database service. For that run command sudo service mariadb start. Now let's start the MySQL database. For that run command, sudo mysql hyphen user root hyphen p. Hit enter. So currently I don't have any password, neither you have any password. So in the enter the password phase, just simply hit on the enter button and you will continue. Now, as you can see in the database, we just have to copy the commands and paste on it. So I'll copy the first command to create the database with the name dvwa, hit on enter. So in my case, it is showing that database already created because I already created a database using this name. So I'll simply remove that database. Okay, so I successfully deleted the web database. Now we can successfully create the database with name dvwa. In your system, by default, there are no DVWA database. So you can just simply continue with this command. Now hit enter and you successfully created the database. So after that, you have to create the user with the name DVWA and set the password to this one. Copy it, go back to the terminal, 
and paste it hit enter okay sorry so we can use this localhost phase instead we can use 127.0.0.1 now hit enter so we successfully create a user with the name dvwa I, which is you which will continue with the password this as is given now let's move to the next command and paste it then flush privileges take all you have to do now we can successfully exit the database so now let's start the web server service for that run command sudo service apache2 start so we successfully started the apache2 service but if you want to check whether it is started or not then run command sudo service apache2 status as you can see our status is active and running now let's go back to the browser and go to localhost slash dvwa so as you can see our website is successfully working and it is fully loaded now in order to log in to dvwa admin panel the default password the default username is admin and the default password is password yeah p a s s w o r d password now enter the credential and hit on login and you will be successfully logged in just go to the down and click on create or reset reset database and then click on login and then login again so as you can see we successfully set up our damn vulnerable web application on the Kali Linux so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed this video and learn how to set up your DVWA setup and if you have any doubt regarding to this then let me know in the comment section and I will be very happy to clear your doubts